I'm not gonna lie, it was hard work. I was the fast food queen. If it was fried, it was my friend. Meet two women who together lost 300 pounds the old-fashioned way. We found out how they got fit and fabulous. Tell us how you did that. And how you can do it too, right now on My Black is Beautiful. Beautiful to me. Now, if you've ever felt weighed down with the thought of exercise and weight loss, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Me too, me too, me too, me too. Today, you know what we're gonna do? We want each one of you to take the pledge with us and declare that my black is beautiful and healthy. Let's take that pledge. My, my black, black is beautiful and healthy. healthy. We're about to talk about it right now. I've gone through this journey with my weight going up and going down. I even went on a, um, a reality show where I lost 24 pounds in 12 weeks and gained 26 back. Nah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it's, a, it's, a, it's a stretch, it's a big deal. You all have these weight issues and food issues well, and you know, things. I'm from Louisiana and raised in Houston, so I kind of have it really bad on both ends. Like I love gumbo, crawfish etouffee, <laughs> anything and everything that's bad, blueberry cheesecake, like what? corn bread. Like I could really just go on. And you know, when I got into this industry, it, it was the whole issue of having to slim down and having to be fit or whatever by industry standards. Yeah, and then when I go home, different. right, and then when I go home, what, are you eating, baby? Are you okay, yeah, baby? You want some chicken? Right. right, so it's just, you know, it's a constant struggle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've yeah. been a vegan um, uh, for about 20 years, you know, and it's really been a blessing because it's helped me to sort of maintain, mm -hmm. you know, my optimum weight. Can I you can. eat potato chips on a vegan diet? Yes, they, then I can they be have vegan. Them baked. I can yeah. <laughs> Listen, you, you, you lose nothing in taste. It's not like cardboard or, hey, then I'm eating. There's I a know. lot of options. I know. You know we taste you know, the over I don't here. tell this story that often, but on Living Single, um, I got a call every six months to, like, threatening me to lose weight, that if, we don't, if you don't lose weight, we're going to incorporate it into the story. And the good news is that my castmates, I took this to them, and I said, would you guys do fat jokes about Sinclair? And they all said, no, we wouldn't do that to you. You know, what we are, uh, we're curvy girls, and it's about our culture. And so they supported me in that way. But it was really hard. I actually ended up gaining weight of because of the pressure of being told to yeah. lose weight. We were talking that, about the industry. I'm really glad that in this day and age, we're, we're moving more towards now being healthy, whatever your yes. size may be. So I want you guys to meet uh, Tracy Frazier. She made a decision to change her life and she lost 100 pounds the good old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. She once tipped the scales at just over 300 pounds. I was the fast food queen. I would supersize it, I would upsize it, I would get the extra fries, the double, triple burger, extra cheese. I was beginning to have issues with cholesterol, high blood pressure. Now Tracy has lost 110 pounds the natural way. I focused on developing healthy eating habits, chicken, turkey, and fish. But she also lost her sense of style. In my mind, I'm still heavy. So immediately I go to the plus size rack and so I look at it and I'm like, okay, nothing on this rack fixes me because I don't wear an extra anything anymore. Because in my mind I'm still heavy, I don't know what fits me. Now we're gonna give her the tools to update her style to match her new body. Tracy Frazier is backstage right now getting a makeover from us. We're gonna meet her a little bit later in the show. But you know what, she brought her sons here with us. Hello gentlemen. Hello. Hi. 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 How do you feel about your mom's success? Um, I mean, I'm very proud of her for all her accomplishments. Are you excited to see your mom's new makeover? Yes. yes. Oh, we gonna hook her up. <laughs> While Tracy is backstage with our Delicious team of experts, we're gonna be sitting down with a beautiful sister who holds the record for being the heaviest female contestant on the hit show, The Biggest Loser. But first, we've hit the streets and scoured the country to find the official face of My Black is Beautiful. Let's check out another stop on our nationwide search. Our first ever My Black is Beautiful model search had thousands of diverse African-American women turn out for a shot at fame. My Black is Beautiful! Yes! Last week, Atlanta represented. 
This week, Houston's coming at you. My black is elegant. Tenacious. Inspiring. We are fabulous. Who will join us on our stage in Hollywood and receive the opportunity of a lifetime as the newest faces of My Black is Beautiful? You'll have to watch our big My Black is Beautiful season finale to find out. Next week, we're headed to the fashion capital of the world. See you in New York. I'm a woman all the time, and no matter what life brings, I persevere and never let anything get me down. I never back down from a challenge because my dad, who worked hard his entire life, taught me to always follow my dreams. Welcome back to My Black is Beautiful. Alicia Renee is backstage with our lovely guest, Tracy, and we'll check in with them real soon. Right now, let's meet someone very special. She holds the distinct title of being the heaviest woman ever to compete on the hit reality show, The Biggest Loser. During the first nine weeks of competition, she lost over 100 pounds. And if that isn't impressive enough for you, she went on to shed an additional 100 pounds on her own. Please welcome the sexy, the sassy, Shay Sorrells. Say thank you. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. How are you? Tell you look us. wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much. I feel so much better than I did last year at 500 pounds. Wow. wow. We are so excited. I've, I've literally got goosebumps. Yeah. I mean, your, your journey is so impressive. I'm impressed that you lost 100 pounds on your own. Tell us how you did that. I'm not going to lie. It was hard work. Yeah. There's no magic pill. There's no secret. It's getting to the gym, making it a priority, eating whole foods, wholesome foods that keep my body going. Did you and eat a lot of meals also? I didn't. I did the three meals a day. Okay. I have two snacks. But when you eat the right things, mm. you fill up and you stay full. What types of exercise do you do? I run, I swim, I do kettlebells, I do, car I mean, any kind of cardio I can find. And then I do strength training as well. Yes, because, because muscle is the thing that burns fat. It, it burns yes. and it burns it longer, mm -hmm. and it's what makes those curves. So. Really good. <laughs> yes. Wow. Now, talk about your, uh, your eating plan. Do you have a specific plan? Because you said... I do meals. the calories in, calories out. Okay. So what you eat, what you burn, but quality of calories count. I don't eat processed foods. I don't eat foods with chemicals. I cook with my fruits, my vegetables, and my lean proteins. And then I, I use a lot of brown rice and brown rice products. Now, were you an emotional eater? Absolutely. I grew up in foster care. So for oh. me, food was everything. Mm -hmm. And when there wasn't food so many times, when there was food, I ate everything in sight. Okay. And then when I got older and I was on my own, I never realized that's what I was doing. And Using so it just it kept growing and growing and growing. What advice would you give to someone who decides that they want to lose this weight? Martin Luther King said it best. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just the first Ooh. step. Oh, okay. Set the small goals. Yeah. Start one day at a time. This week, drink more water. Yeah. Next week, switch to brown rice. The following week, add two more servings of vegetables. Just one step at a time, and you will get there. If you look at the big picture, you get overwhelmed. If I would have looked at losing 300 pounds, I would have been like, I, I don't know. I'm There's not no doing way. that. Right, right. But I took it one step at a time. So I want to know how you maintain a fitness schedule. You're a busy mom. You're a busy wife. You're a social worker. How do you fit this in? You know, the biggest thing is I make it a lifestyle. Me and the kids, we spend family time. We go on family bike rides. For my husband and I's anniversary, we went on a five-mile run. We wow. make it part of our date nights. Wow. We make it part of our life. So it doesn't have to be you slaving in a gym and your family at home. You do it together mm -hmm. because you want to teach them the healthy lifestyle so they grow up and they don't have the same problems that I had. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your journey with us. You rock. You rock. Okay. We're going to go backstage and we're going to check in with Alicia Renee, who is working on Tracy's makeover. Let's take a look. What's going on back there? Why, thank you, ladies. We are in the My Black is Beautiful wardrobe suite with celebrity stylist Jennifer Austin, as well as Tracy, who is getting her fit and her fab on. Jennifer Austin, you're going to show Tracy how she can play up all of her best assets, yes? Yes, Take definitely. It away. Congratulations on your new look. So first up, I have a wrap dress. And what I love about wrap dresses is it works on every woman's shape. But what the best thing about it is, is the color blocking, the bold, bright color on the top with the darker bottom draws the eye line up so they can see that little sexy waist you've been working so hard. 
hard to get. And next, believe it or not, the asymmetrical jacket is a perfect way to show off the waistline. The cut opens up so they can see your waistline. And I reverse the color blocking by putting the lighter color on the bottom, the darker color on the top, so they can see all the goods that you have. <laughs> I see the vision in my see mind. It. I see it in my mind. Ladies, back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. We'll check back in a little later for more makeover updates. Coming up next, celebrity chef Govan Armstrong shows us how to prepare tasty cuisine that won't add pounds or guilt. But now let's catch up with our lifestyle expert on the East Coast, Tracy Ferguson in New York City. 